A big Southern California welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area code here. I love San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action. And we couldn't be more excited to be here. What a reversal. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I've got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is gonna go down. Try to keep these superstars on the up and up. That's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. And you know what, Cole? If you're gonna get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you gotta do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well then, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. Watch it. He reversed it. There is no doubt that Batista made a hell of an impact on Raw, Cole. But now that he doesn't have Triple H or Rick Flair watching his back, I think his days might be numbered. Batista has taken the best that his former Evolution teammates have had to offer, and he's always come out on top. I don't think that's going to change. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. You decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Will excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to let the you. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Well, what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame, because like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Cole? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Wow, great reversal. Well, I'll tell you this much. There ain't no doubt in my mind that Mark Henry really is the world's strongest man. The power of this guy is purely awesome. It's downright scary is what it is, Taz. We've seen Mark Henry tear apart superstar after superstar, and I hope we're not about to see more of the same here tonight. Everyone who gets in the ring with Mark Henry knows exactly what to expect. And if they're dumb enough to do it, then that's their problem. Shoot balls 15 feet in the air. <laughs> I don't believe it. What incredible intensity from these two suits. Has he got it? He's so close. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, 
If you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. You know, Cole, it's a long fall for whoever loses this fight, Cole. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked into Taz's mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think this could be it, Cole. He's almost there. You talk about raw power. You talk about intensity. Have you ever seen a superstar like Batista? Hey, there's no doubt he's a very impressive dude, no question. But let's not get too far away here. It's not like he's the biggest and baddest guy ever to step foot in the WWE ring, Cole, you know what I mean? You say that, Taz, but no one else comes to mind. You've got to be pretty big and pretty bad to pin Triple H for the World Heavyweight title. And that's exactly what Batista did at WrestleMania 21. Hey, look, anybody can have a really good night. You know what I'm saying, Cole? I'll tell you what, right now, Cole, there's not enough room up there for both of them. If your opponent knocks you down from there, you might as well throw his tower. Mark Henry is one of the most terrifying individuals to set foot in a WWE ring. And I think it's only a matter of time. Neither one of these superstars wants to be the one to fall off the ladder. Neither superstar is giving an inch, but only one of them can stay up there. This has been a great match so far, and I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. He's about to win the match! Saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're saying, Taz. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. There's not an ounce of quitting either one of these superstars, but someone's going down. This is not a fight that either superstar can afford to lose. He's literally inches away from victory. Batista has had lots of success so far, but that's just because his opponents don't really let him psych him out. You can't. Oh man, that title's totally within his reach. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. Oh, my God. They're tearing each other apart up there. Whoever loses this fight's going to have a long fall in their immediate future. I'll never understand why Mark Henry resorts to the brutal tactics he uses against his opponents. He's already the world's strongest man. What's he got left to prove? Well, I guess like most women, just scream. Every time Mark Henry gets in the ring with someone, you gotta realize he's sending a message. A message to the whole lot of Well, if you ask me if victory is message enough, there's no need for the senseless brutality that Mark Henry seems to enjoy dishing out. I don't use the word evil lightly. That's all. Only a few inches separate him from his goal. These superstars have been going hard all night. They sure have. And that's where the support...